Well, it's summertime in Alaska, and the the forest is greening up. The moose have dropped their calves. We had one that had a real young calf here, I think, a couple days ago, and uh, they come down into this neighborhood to get calves so that the bears are not quite as predatory in here. But anyway. The forest is all green and things are growing fast. What I wanted to show you today <clears throat> is prior to my preparation that I'm doing for for storage. I just uh, bought these. I actually bought these new, and they're 55 gallon um, water barrels, and that that will be saved for strictly drinking water you know, should the need arise, and then I'll rotate them every six months or so, or, you know, whatever is practical. So anyway, they're, you know, standard 55-gallon plastic barrel, and they'll be going into the garage and filled and <clears throat> and such. I have a well here, but the concept is to, if something, if something goes wrong, you don't have to run down to the local store to buy water. Okay, so the point I'm going to emphasize here, that is just for drinking water. Well, a normal family uses other things like flushing toilets. You know, you got to use water for that. So <clears throat> those I bought new, paid retail price. And here's another thing I'm going to suggest to you, and that is these barrels came from... Um, a car wash, and I, I ended up paying like ten bucks a piece for them. But that's uh, that's what soap comes in. These barrels we set up as a rain catch system, and um, you know, and that water then will be used for for non drinking water, like flushing toilets and my dog. Come on, my buddies are always here helping me. So I've got that one. I'm in the process of washing them out. And I have nine more. I've got ten, ten total. And these are 30 gallon barrels. And I'll be uh, setting them up in the under the rain gutter so I don't have to fill them with well water. And then that's another one over there. And then these are five or six gallons that I'll use for wash them out and use them for transporting this water should it be necessary. So with those ten, that's 300 gallons and um, <coughs> and then 110 fresh water plus plus other stuff that we have. The, um, the back of the pickup here is I have five of these 8D um, deep cycle that I took out of out of my boat. That battery right there will be used to drive an inverter, and the inverter will be used to operate the circulating pump on the furnace. That I have a, a boiler and hot water and natural gas so um, you know should the power go out that you still have heat in the house it's one form of heat and then when necessary of course then and necessary to charge that and fire the well up and start that I'm in the process of installing a transfer switch to where I can start the gen set draw the water out of the well charge the battery and um, and conserve fuel that way. I think I've got that's, I'm not going to say how many gallons of fuel I have stored but that's the concept but this this video is really made to to let everybody know that you know you don't have to spend a lot of money to you know get yourself prepared and especially when it comes to things like this hear a lot of things about talk or a lot of suggestions talk to a bakery or something on five gallon buckets 
but you know I ended up with 10 of these 30 gallon barrels and they're good they're 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 tough as a rock for um, in my case 10 bucks a piece and wherever you live you might be able to get them the same price or cheaper but uh, good luck to you and that's my uh, my water backup so have a good day